Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford. Let's get right over to meteorologist Mike Taylor now with the check of your seven first alert forecast. And we have showers and thunderstorms still in the forecast for tonight. And they could be heavy, intense with some decent rainfall. So just keep that in mind. Flooding is still a concern. This will be the second round of storms. After tonight, things will begin to settle down into your Tuesday afternoon. All right, thank you so much, Mike. To other news now, what started as a shooting on I-94 near Chalmers may not have ended there. Police believe it is related to another shooting at Ascension St. John Hospital on Detroit's east side just a short time later. A man was shot in the ankle outside the emergency room right around 620 last night. Police are looking for suspects in two vehicles believed to be involved in this, a black Chevrolet Equinox and a white Impala. Well, a fire at Somerset Collection in Troy sends shoppers scrambling to evacuate. Firefighters say it started in the Capitol Grill and may have spread through the exhaust system up to the roof. Firefighters put it out quickly. We are told the fire damage is contained to those two areas, but the extent of the damage from smoke is unclear at this point. The south end of the mall remained open. The theme of Oxford Strong was felt around the stands at Comerica Park on Monday night. More than 2,000 people from the Oxford community were invited to the game as part of Oxford Night. Two students and a teacher threw out the first pitches and the school's choir performed the Star Spangled Banner. Some of them wore the number 42 in memory of their classmate Tate Meir. The four teenagers who lost their lives were honored with a moment of silence. Well, police downriver are looking for a pair of thieves suspected of using a giant excavator to steal an ATM. Security cameras caught the excavator trying to nab cash out of the Chase Bank in Brownstown Township on Saturday morning. Now, before officers could catch the suspects, we are told they hopped into a stolen white pickup truck and eventually got away on foot.